Hi, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Courtney, you can call me Courts, and today I am taking you guys on the viral 3 a.m. challenge known as the 11 mile ritual. It is said that if you do the ritual alone in a car down a creepy road at night, you can manifest one of your deepest desires into reality. So the game does have strict rules that are not to be broken, simply at the risk of not receiving your wish. Okay, so here they are. Rule number one, do not utilize the radio or an audio device of any kind. Rule number two, do not use a cell phone. Rule number three, do not open the windows at any time. Rule number four, do not exceed 30 miles per hour or in Canada, 48-ish kilometers per hour. I had to Google that. Um, rule number five, do not stop the vehicle at any time. Rule number six, do not exit the vehicle at any time. And rule number seven, drive towards a wooded area and seek out the road intuitively. You will know when you've found it. So, them's the rules. Let's do this. Really? Yeah, you, you're supposed to just like figure it out as you go. It's part of the game. Because it's part of the rules. Oh. Yeah. I really want to. You better be safe. I love you. I love you. Mm. Oh crap. Oh, still rolling? to the north so um, there's this little like road here there's this road and I think we're gonna try it oh my god is this a person are they gonna tell me to go away there's no one in there that's super spooky am I gonna get in trouble this is like a no cars this is like a walking thing I don't know but we're going oh my god look at the puddles Am I gonna get stuck off-roading? Oh my god. Okay, I think we made it to our destination to start the ritual. I'm just gonna find a little place to stop for a sec. believe I just drove so far that it started to snow what the heck okay so I just want to make sure I have everything straight my plan was literally just to drive north until I could find like a, a mountain road or something here we are in the mountains where it is snowing I'm excited I've never done anything like this on my channel if you're new here typically I do content surrounding film and television I work as a production assistant in Vancouver and I make all my content around movies and the movies that I love and the movies that I want to watch I do lots of trailer reactions and stuff but this is very out of my element I'm really into that adventure sort of paranormal spooky side of YouTube however with games like this rituals like this I am a bit skeptical mostly because the videos that I've watched like nothing happens nothing happens and nobody ever talks about whether or not they got their wish I did some research your girl is witchy and she believes that there's always a possibility of inviting something in so who knows 
you could also invite in your deepest desire or your biggest wish. The, speaking of wishes, I wasn't sure if I wanted to share my wish with you guys because it's like kind of cringy, but also if it's anything like eyelash wishes or like birthday cake, candles, you can't tell anyone your wish because then you jinx it and it's bad luck, it's not gonna come true. My wish, my deepest, my deepest desire is so rooted in vanity that I just decided I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, so today I'll be wishing for 100,000 subscribers. I cannot wait to have the shiny silver plaque in my hands, and so that is my wish. That's something that I've been working towards for years now, so um, yeah, I'm vain and that's what I'm wishing for. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Who knows, the 11 mile ritual could be the perfect opportunity for me to summon it into existence. So this is the part where I set my intention and I make my wish, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I think I'm ready. I'm ready if you are. Why do I sound like Kermit the Frog? Let's do this. There's no way that I could exceed 30 kilometers an hour even if I wanted to, 30 miles an hour, whatever. This road is so insane, I picked the most insane road. What if, what if I run out of miles? Like what if I can't finish the 11 mile ritual because I only picked a road? that has like, oh, five miles. This is actually insane. Like I'm actually crazy for doing this. What the fuck? Um, but seriously, it's so cold in here. I don't know if it's anything spooky, but I think I'm just gonna crank. I'm gonna try and crank the heat without stopping the car. Pray for me. There we go. Wee! Someone a wee! Off road! Let's go! I'm rigid, I'm insane. Nothing's even going on. I don't understand. This is not safe though. <laughs> do not do this at home! I had to move the camera down because it's getting really hard to see the road. So we've probably hit mile three now, it's like mile three-ish. And nothing really strange has happened at all. I mean, my eyes might be starting to play tricks on me because uh, everything in the trees looks like um, shadow people, which is really freaky. <laughs> but otherwise it's still very snowy. It's giving the shining, I don't know. I swear, I swear, dude, I hope I got a shot of me cranking because I swear I turned it back to heat and it's freezing. My car is just malfunctioning on this road apparently because it's so damn bumpy. I don't know what the fuck that just was. I don't know what to do. I stopped the car. <gasps> okay, mile five. Feels like a bad omen, but um, I have to keep going. I feel like I have to finish. We're only halfway there. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. I think. Since we're already halfway there. Losing my fucking mind. I swear there was someone in the seat. I swear. 
I swear there was someone next to me just for a second. Like it's, maybe it's just this flash in my eyes. Why do I do this to myself? Well, one thing's for sure, I'm definitely scaring the shit out of myself. Drive on, drive on. Don't stop the car, that's what the rule said. Well, I broke that rule, so I'm definitely gonna have to finish this if there's any chance of getting my wish. Okay, we're going. Okay. It's like really snowing out there now too, I don't know. If if you even can catch any of that. But it's snowy in October. Whoa, 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 whoa. The car is just stopping. Come on! What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? I do not like this. Now I'm fucking stuck. I don't know what to do. Do I call Trevor? Like, what the fuck do I do? kidding i was actually just about to hit the 11th mile and this is so fucked up what is this game like i don't know what to do i feel like i have to finish this because it's kind of like leaving a ouija board without saying goodbye and um that just feels wrong so i feel like i have to finish this it's probably gonna be fine my car's gonna turn on it's gonna be fine god damn it fuck go i'm gonna walk ahead just a little bit and I'm going to I'm going to do what you're supposed to do when you end the ritual is put your intention back out there and make your wish one more time and it should be fine. Okay, I don't know, but that's the vibe and I just I feel like I have to trust my instincts and just finish this. So Okay. Okay, I'm going. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop a squat like or something. Fuck. I'm just gonna... Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna set my intention. And I'm gonna make my wish. And then I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Not doing that. Nope. <gasps> okay, the ritual's over. I'm fucking leaving. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's fucking hope this fucking car turns on. Thank fucking God!
Now it's a million degrees in here and it was still on the AC. Like, what the fuck is this? 